I do hope you're doing well. We can't do the spooky season without some new spooky bath care bits, can we, my lovelies? And I was a little bit late to this, I'm not going to lie. Kind of got sidetracked with everything else in life and then remembered bath care. We need some spooky bath care. So, I took a little trip to Body Shop and Lush and we picked up a few bits from their Halloween range. Now, Lush, when I walked in, it was predominantly the Christmas bits. So, I did struggle to get a lot a lot we still got i think about 10 or 12 items that's not a problem and then body shop <laughs> i have quite a lot of the stuff from last year still that i'm using so i've still got the body butter i've still got the hand cream so i just picked up a few new bits just to try oh my god i felt like um that lady from fat fighters on little britain a new member we got some new products to start Look at this. I'm delusional already, my lovelies. This smells so fizzy, yet sweet and vanilla and pumpkin. And you know it's just going to be filled with plenty of goodies. So get comfy and get your pen and paper. Because if you want some of these bits, you ain't got to go out to the shop. You can get them online and have all of your autumnal spooky bath care delivered right to your door. So, Shan, let's get in with our monthly, I say monthly, our spooky spooky autumnal lush and body shop haul <laughs> right so i think we shall start with the body shop as i say because i only picked a few bits up because i didn't want to repurchase stuff that i've already got you know so i still got the body butter from last year still getting the smithereens out of me hand gel but they did have a few new things let's start with an original classic shall we and that is the vanilla pumpkin shower gel so this is this year's packaging. I'm not going to lie, I was much prefer the packaging from last year. This one is kind of, oh, ay ay ay. Still smells absolutely divine. But this one, it seems to be more naturistic, the packaging, as opposed to like the previous years when it has been like pumpkins and spooky fried. Now, I am going to have a little bit of a moan here. All of these size bottles, what are they, 250 ml, they always used to be £5. I have been buying Body Shop for forever and a day, and I know my prices. They used to be five quid, whatever the weather. Go to an outlet and you might get them for three fifty, four quid. They've upped their prices now. Now, I know with COVID and everything like that, stuff is going to increase. But these are £6.50 now. And you might think, oh, it's only one fifty, But at Christmas time, you know, I buy... The whole set well i don't buy it. i put on my list the whole set and i normally get the whole set for me bathing needs throughout the year so say you buy 10 bottles that's another 15 quid on top of what you would normally pay so i've said to mama g if you see any do not pay the 650 i because i have like the love your body shop club card thing club card thing it ain't tesco sham but you know like a points card and i said i'll just hold out and as soon as they get like say a 20 percent offer or anything like that I'll get it off. So say it's 650, you'll get 130 off. It'll cost you 520. I don't mind paying that. But yeah, 650 was a little bit steep in my eyes, but nonetheless, I did pick it up because I may be needing it for an upcoming video very soon and also the scent is just fabulous. Got two new bits. So, they you all know I love body shop bath bombs you know like the little ones in the wrappers they're like sweet wrappers they're one pound fifty hunky dory haven't checked the price of them whether they've gone up who knows and they're small they're tiny but you pop them in you get a good bit of bubbles and you get a lovely scent now body shop have done a vanilla pumpkin fragrance bath bomb now this was five pound so this is probably on par with like lush's bath bomb prices and when i saw this it smells very, very sweet, let me tell you that. But I just thought, oh, I thought, I'll tell you what, I know I'm moaning about the price of the shower gel, but I will try the bath bomb because, as I say, it's a matching set, looks absolutely divine, and it's for normal to dry skin, and it's vegan. But as I say, I'm just, I do like the packaging, my lovelies, but it's not my favourite, you know? I do like, if you're buying something with pumpkin, Put like a nice little pumpkin on there. And then this, you're probably thinking, Sham, why on earth have you bought this you don't have a shower? But I saw this everywhere and it just intrigued me. So it is a new, new, new member, new product. Here we go. It is a pumpkin instant radiance 
in shower mask so i've been reading up on this and apparently it's you put it on when you go in the shower and the steam helps do something or activate something and then when you pop out you wash it off well i'm gonna have it as an in bath mask let me tell you that my lovelies now these i don't think have changed much in price this was 18 pound which i do believe is the going rate for the face mask like this as you all know from my skincare collection i have got i think all of them or nearly all of them i do believe that paying a little bit more for your face masks benefits you because they are good i mean my himalayan charcoal one i'm almost at the end of that and it pains me like mama g said to me the other day when i went and got these she was like sham do you need any more face masks i said no i said what i'm going to do in the new year i'm going to have as one of my resolutions to try and use up all of my bath products all of my body care products all of my skincare products and then not in essence start from new but yeah start from new it's going to be costly though because i've gained a few little bits over the years as i say you all know b sister she tries like skincare and makeup everything like that and if she doesn't like it or it doesn't agree she offers it to myself or her mum and i have got a few things like some origins bits there my charlotte's hillbury face powder you know i'm obsessed with that and i've had to repurchase that oh woe me to my bank account but that is a firm favorite that she showed me and then i've branched out and got some elemis had a skincare offer on just to try a few bits and then obviously i've got all my body shops so to run it all down it will take me a long time i'm not gonna lie like i probably do still have enough skincare for another year let's not let's not beat around the bush but to then repurchase it all pains my bank account but the way that i'm looking at it is come the new year i'm gonna do myself like a little spreadsheet i'm gonna be proper organized with this my lovelies and i'm gonna put all the products that i own you're probably thinking shan this is where your ocd is coming through darling and i'm gonna put what it is the name and then i'm gonna have like a rating system on them so i'm gonna be like the price and affordability um say like the texture consistency if it's like a moisturizer did i see a result how long did it last me because i do want to see like how much usage i can get out of them i already know my staples will be my nivea moisturizer my clinique pep start which i need to buy another one that's 25 quid it's at the bottom as you all know from the morning routines there's not much left of that but i need to i need to buy another one so actually i might buy myself that for christmas that could be like my little skincare treat i've got some charlotte tilbury bits in there which i'm absolutely loving but again a mini price is a lot different to the full size price and then origins the bits that um b sister gave me i've loved them bits we've got plenty of garniers we've got some soap and glory in there there's just a bit of everything and anything so I do want to try maybe next year to not buy skincare until I have gone through a considerable amount of mine. Because I don't know about you, my lovelies. You buy something and then you think, oh, I want to try that. Then you switch to that. And then before you know, you've got like 10 moisturizers. So, yes, I'm rambling as always. But, yeah, I'm trying to put myself on a little skincare band next year. And then this is what it looks like. Right. It's not an over powering you i don't know if you can see there's like little seeds in there now when people think of pumpkin they think like pure veg this isn't this is quite sweet actually you can still get like the pumpkin scent through it but it's not as bam as what you think it would be so i'm actually very excited to use that and as i say this again with the shower gel i bought for perhaps an upcoming video Leave me any guesses down in the comments box below what you think that could be. But, yeah, so I've got my new little vanilla pumpkin range from the body shop. And as I say, very, very happy. You can also get a hand cream. You can get a body butter. But as I say, I've still got some of that left from last year. So I thought, you know what? I'm trying to be a proper adult here. Let's not just waste our money down the drain. But, yeah, those were the three bits that I needed. But... I did get carried away in Lush. So my lovelies, get comfy, go and get a little refill and let's come back with Lush's spooky little bits that they've got on offer this year. <laughs> right, so likewise with the Body Shop bits and the Lush, I will link everything down below in the descriptions box just in case like I'm not quite on there with the names or the prices of the products. But went into Lush and now I'm not going to lie, kind of killing me Halloween vibes because as I say, when I went in there, it was all very... All the christmas bits and oh my goodness 
they have got a lot of new stuff for Christmas. Let me tell you that. The rows and rows of bits and brand new shower gels. Obviously, we've got the Snow Fairy, which I was umming and ahhing. Do I buy another one? Because I've still got half of my big, you know, the huge ones. I've still got half of that left. So I might, for the purpose of a Christmas Lush haul, just buy a regular size. You know, because we've got to include it somehow. But they've got new shower gels, new bubble bars, the bath bombs. Oh my god, I have never seen so many in Lush. Like, they have upped it on another level. And I'd done, like, a quick tot up in my head, like, mentally adding everything up that I liked. And it was quite expensive. I'm not going to lie. It was quite expensive, my lovelies. So, <laughs> that is going to be a whole nother video. That will probably be a dedicated Lush Christmas video like we had last year. But I think it's going to be a long one because when I counted it up, I think there was, like, over 20 products. Yeah, over 20, your girl, you get carried away. And then who remembers last year? So I bought loads in November, done my haul and everything like that. And then come December, apart from the Snow Fairy shower gel, I'd pretty much use all my bath bombs. So Mama G being the angel that she is, went and I think it was like the week before Christmas or something, she said, oh, I just need to get you a few like stocking fillers and practically repurchased everything that I'd bought that I'd already used the month before. So I have a feeling that that could happen again because as I say, I was just mesmerized by it my lovelies absolutely mesmerized right let's get in so let's just ignore the christmas packaging shall we will imagine it's like a black spooky orange packaging the first thing i picked up was this little guy and i am sure correct me if i'm wrong is he a bath bomb or a bubble bar it's a little alien guy so as I say, what I will do is I will leave on screen what it's called and the price of it. And also I'll leave the links down in the description box. But this is so fresh and very citrusy, like lemon and lime, which you could expect. I mean, it's a little green guy. Absolutely love that. I have a feeling he might be a bubble bar. Watch this like when it's gone on the bottom of the screen and it's like bath bomb. Shan, you're completely like away with the fairies and i think this little guy was around 4.95 if i remember correctly some of the prices of lush things have gone up i'm not gonna lie but as i say with the body shot i know everything's gonna go up a little bit but and not extortionate amounts you know my lovelies let's have a look what have we got in here ah oh, right this isn't halloween but i just had to get it and it's getting me so in the christmas festive spirit so for 2.95 i just picked up a little lush butter ball see that and it's just got lush on the top now i absolutely love the butter ball it's like lavender which we all know i'm not really a lavender fan but it's paired like with vanilla so it's very calming very soothing and christmas time you always get the butter bear so you get the cute little bear shape and he's like has his little hand up to wave and i think he's about 3.95 but the little butter bear bath bombs they are 2.95 if i remember correctly as i say everything will be down below and on screen for you my lovelies i can't go into lush and not buy one of their lip scrubs as you will know i have quite a collection and this is a thing like i need to start running down because for me exfoliation we all know i love a bit of skincare but lip exfoliation especially in the colder months a lot of people would think in the warm months but no in the colder months lip exfoliation for me is so so important because there is nothing i hate worse than having my lips dry chapped oh no it's not a bit me so come the colder months i actually do a lip exfoliation every single morning now i'm not gonna lie i wish they'd done something like a pumpkin flavor lip scrub but i think maybe it might not be everyone's taste because obviously the lip scrubs are edible currently i'm still finishing off my watermelon love a bit of watermelon but i saw this and it is the trick or treat lip scrub so you see in there it's almost like green crystals this year and these i believe are six pound fifty which you may think that's expensive but honestly you don't need a lot what i would say and tips i've told time and time again tilt your head back when you do it and make sure you've got like a little tea towel or cloth underneath because if you stand up and do it, it goes everywhere. So just tilt your head back, put it on, and then say you can lick your lips after and it is edible. But it's like um, sour apples, fizzy apples. So it's this gorgeous green colour, perfectly spooky. 
yeah and it's like you know like fizzy snakes i'm just gonna eat a little bit and say you can it is edible my lovers that is very sour oh my god that is sour apple mmm it's delicious though i wouldn't advise to just like sit there and eat it out the pot but it's always good once you've done your exfoliation you can lick your lip wipe it off and then you've got the taste of it on your lips but yes absolutely love that and i do think i know they're like almost seven quid but they do last because as i say you literally need the tiniest of bits and i know people that have sometimes used it to like exfoliate i don't know their elbows and someone i know used to exfoliate their knees with it they wouldn't then be licking their elbows or knees but it is good as just like a gentle exfoliation for whichever part of the body but i would just recommend using it on your lips which it's stated for my lovelies what have we got what have we got right we have two matching things here because i love these and i want you to because i cannot wait to use one of so i'll show you one and again i think these have slightly gone up i think these used to be 350 or 395 and now they're about fiver but you know what i'm going to show you it is the classic bath bomb that is the pumpkin and you know what it's actually quite a large pumpkin so i can i can justify like a fiver for it but look pumpkin to pumpkin and pumpkins in the back and skulls in the back this my lovelies oh, i just can't describe it it's kind of it's citrusy but i think there's some type of like lavender or a little flower note in there but it is absolutely divine and when i saw it i was like right you've gone up in price but i always buy two of these one for me and then normally if brandon's brand and he goes in the little bathroom drawer and he's like you've got pumpkin i'm like you want to use the pumpkin bathroom do you okay then and as i say come christmas time he loves a good bathroom just as much as me he probably won't like to admit it but he does like a good bathroom and when he goes in at christmas and he sees me always like can we use that and i'm like just because i love you okay like you have to be very loved to be able to use my bath bombs let me tell you that but yeah as i say i picked up two pumpkins because i just think they're super cute smell lovely and they give the bath this luxurious orange foamy oh absolutely lovely what have we got here oh my god this guy was so cute i think he was 395 i love this and again i did want to get two of these but i thought i'll stick with the one. Oh, did i just drop a bit yeah oh that's great oh i've just covered my black dress in bath bomb great we're gonna have to be careful with this as i say this guy i think was 395 this is new i haven't seen this one before my lovelies it's the little ghost and then he's got the colouring down there. So I think when he goes in the bath, he's supposed to give like a rainbow effect. This is very similar to Butterbeer or Butterball. With a hint more citrus I'm picking up. Oh, but I just absolutely love him. And as I say, this was a newbie as well. And when I saw the price, I did think, Shan, just get two. But I thought, no, we've got two pumpkins. And as I say... I'm trying to be more adulty, ain't I? I'm trying to like <laughs> be adult and act my age of the ripe old age of 26. But your girl's still sitting here with a bed filled of Halloween bath bombs. And I don't think that's ever going to change, my lovelies. Sorry to disappoint you. They did have a few other things, but they didn't have them in stock in store, which was so annoying. I wanted the, they do a bath bomb. It's a shimmering bat. And I had that last year, and oh my god, that turns the water. You're probably thinking, ugh, but it turns it this sparkly black, ghoulish water. But it looks so magical, and it looks so silky when you get in. I couldn't get that. And then they had a scream bubble bar. You know the scream mask? They had it on a bubble bar, but again, they didn't have stock of that. So I could have, I would have hopefully got a few more bits, but it just, it wasn't meant to be. This I absolutely loved. I think this guy was five or six quid. love it now i'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be it kind of gives me like an egg vibe like alien egg vibe but it smells dreamy it's more vanilla -y. 
vanilla -y, and I get like a strawberry tinge. That might just be me, but oh, absolutely love that. And as I say, that is a hefty size as well for a nice little bath bomb. And as I say, I see some people, they say, cut it in half, crumble it, make more use of it. I completely understand that. But my lush bath bombs, I will only use one a week. So my little body shop ones or my cheaper ones, I normally do put one little bath bomb in with some shower gel for an everyday bath. But once a week, normally on a Sunday when I have my self-care day, I do like to have like a nice proper bath bomb. So I'm not going to be crumbling up. I literally just put it in and indulge. And then of course we've got all these. Of course we've got to have a shower gel, my lovelies. So this I believe was $12.95. It is the 275 gram bottle and it is called lord of misrule now it says get down and earthy with mischievous and stimulating black peppercorn and patchouli whilst carrageenan seaweed softens the skin you won't be the fool after washing with this now love the color oh canon you're focusing on me in the skull you need to focus on the shower gel darling there we go lord of misrule so firstly i love the color love the green and when I read the scent, I was a bit like, oh, if I don't like it, I can give it to Brandon because it kind of gave me like peppercorn, more manly vibes. But I like men's aftershave. And this to me is a man's aftershave. And you're going to think this is a really weird combo in a minute. Think of a man's aftershave paired with a bit of tea tree oil. I'm getting like the deepness and the muskiness, but then I'm getting like a peppermint spearmint flavour. So yes, I absolutely cannot wait to be lathering myself up with this. And probably Brandon is going to want to use it as well, let's be perfectly honest. So this can go in my little collection because I've still got a bit of Prince Charming I'm using. Nana, she's been well and truly loved. And then I've still got a little bit of the Christmas one from last year, roasting chestnuts on an open fire, an orange one. And then obviously I've got a half bottle of the Big Snow Fairy. So this will be fitting in nicely with the little colour arrangement. And that, my lovelies, is the last thing from Lush. As I say, there was plenty more that I could have got. And I will also, apart from leaving the individual links for the bits down below, I will leave the generic page for all of the pumpkin bits from Body Shop and also the generic page for all of the Halloween bits at Lush. But my room smells amazing. I now want to go and have a bubble bath. So would you believe it, my lovelies? That means the haul is done. <laughs> so can you believe it's been a year already since our last one? But I don't think I've done a body shop haul last year. So we've got like kind of a change. We've got a collective here. We've had Lush and Body Shop, all for our skin, all for our bath needs and bath bomb needs, as I say. I just wish the bags were not Christmas. That was the only thing. When I got there, I was like... Oh, if you're not getting any normal bags, she was like, oh no, we're full Christmas now. And I was like, I love your enthusiasm. Trust me, I love Christmas. But I just wish I had a normal bag. And it's annoying because I did have one before. And then when me and mum was doing the decluttering a couple of months ago, we were like, we got rid of all the carry bags and all of that. And I thought, dang, I should have kept that. But yes, as I say, not complaining. Prices you may find this year, my lovelies, they are going to fluctuate. I don't mind a little fluctuation when it's like quite a bit and as I say if you're buying quite a lot of the items it can all add up so just think of that but body shop if you I think if you have the club card points card after so many purchases you can get money off vouchers like five pound off vouchers and lush if you buy online you can do over three payments if you spend a certain amount for Klarna now I'm not gonna lie probably for the Christmas lush haul I will do this online because the amount that I think it's going to cost me to have out in one go is going to hurt me bank balance. But if I spread it over three, that works a lot better for me. So as you know, Klarna, it's not sponsored or anything. It's just something that I personally use. And especially coming up to Christmas, I think it is very helpful. So certain retailers will just do a pay in 30 days, no interest. Or if you spend a certain amount in certain shops, you can actually split the payments over three. So if you pay in 30 days, you have to log on to the app or the online desktop and make the payment physically. If you pay over three, it almost gets set up like a direct debit. So your first payment will come out and then it will automatically take the next two payments. However, if you miss the payment or there's no funds in the account or you can't remember on the 30 days to make the payment, you do get charged. And the charges are not good. So as long as you're on top and monitoring, I do think it is a really good way to spread the cost. And as I say, 
Klarna, when it first started, I think the only places that I knew it was online pound shop. Was that the only place that I used it? Oh, and Misguided. Misguided and online pound shop were the only two places that I knew had it. And then it must have been going for about a year or so now. Oh no, maybe a bit more. I'm trying to think. I have done quite a few Klarna purchases in my time. But now, like, you can get Lush. You can get Urban Outfitters. You can even get Shirovsky. Now, that helps because, as I say, Mum said to me the other day, right, you need to start thinking what you want for Christmas. And, of course, I love Shirovsky. So, I said, have a look at some little, like, Christmas bits. You can get them online. So, it always helps. And, as I say, it registers your account. And then you can save a certain card. So if you want it always to come from that card, you can do. Or you can change your cards on there. But as I say, I I use Klarna quite a bit. I'm not going to lie, as I say. Because it just helps spread the payments. And as I say, there's no interest. As long as you make your payments and there's money in your account, I've never had a problem with Klarna. If you take anything back, you can pause the payment. Oh, let me answer Brandon. I'll come straight back to you, my lovelies. Sorry about that. I called him just before I started filming. And when he's mid-game, as we all know, he does an answer. And then he will always call back when I'm filming. But yes, as I say, where was I? Klarna. Klarna, I think, is great. Helps spread the payments, I say, as long as you've got money in the account and you remember to make the payment. And I just think it helps everyone, as I say, especially where the prices have gone up slightly. It might not be a lot to some people, but some people it could be. And having that option, even for a 30 days or spread over three months, is very good to go. So, my lovelies. I am rabbiting as always. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment of your favourite bit. Was it something from the body shop? Was it the Lush Rain? Was it the spookily green nice little shower gel? Or was it the lip scrub? Was it the pumpkin bath bombs? Please do let me know. Also, let me know whether you've picked anything up from the pumpkin range in body shop or anything from Lush. Or have you deviated and got something from the Lush Christmas range? I'm not going to judge here. We're all friends. But yes, as I say, take care. Stay safe as always, my lovelies. And I shall see you in the next one.